Hello, this is Jamie Petroviak. Um, I run a website called machinetoolhelp.com and what I'm going to demonstrate for you today is a tutorial on using SDNC um, by SurfCam. What this is, program is for is for uploading and downloading your RS-232 um, programs, your parameters, any kind of data from any CNC machine. What I will demonstrate is how to set up SDNC, um, all the communication settings, which we'll start with here. Um, in order to configure your first machine, you'd go to Machine List. Okay, if you've noticed in my particular uh, uh, setup, I've got uh, several settings. Um, mine, since I'm a, a service engineer, I don't set it up for um, any particular specific machines. Um, I generally set it up for uh, if it's FANUC, Mitsubishi. Uh, the most common ones I have set up are, uh, for example, FANUC uh, 9200 is a baud rate setting, even 7.2. Um, set up as COM port 3 on my particular computer. And I've also got another one here that's set up at a baud rate of 4800. And uh, why I do this is that when I walk up to a machine, I never know what the settings are going to be currently in the machine. And the, the, the few things that tend to vary is the baud rate, um, as well as two, which is the stop bits. Sometimes uh, customers set up as one stop bit or two stop bits, um, and that's how I, I have those particular settings. Um, if you wanted to create a machine um, from scratch, basically you'd click the Add button, currently you're here, and I would add a machine, test machine. Okay. And click add and you added the machine click OK and now we're gonna go configure that particular machine so test machine and on this window here um, it basically you can set up extensions of what you would like the file saved as um, most preferably you usually want this to be a .txt file extension so I'm gonna set that up as .txt okay and I'm gonna uh, check both boxes there. I can click browse and select any directory um, that I would like to and I'm going to leave it right at the current directory. I notice it throws in the shortcut right there and we'll just leave everything both in the same directory. Now you can set this up for um, specific machine directories on a machine by machine basis that way the files always go in and out of the same machine folder. Um, in my case I generally like to throw, put it all in, in one directory since I, I'm always working on different machines at different companies. Um, communication settings. Um, in order to find the proper COM port in your computer, what we will do is uh, we'll go into um, and right click, we'll find my computer on your particular PC and right click it and then select properties from the uh, menu that opens up. And let me drag it out here. Okay, and you will see this particular system properties. Okay, you go to the hardware tab select your device manager okay and uh, if you look at here you got ports com and LPT so we'll open that up in my particular case I'm using a USB to serial um, adapter cable and uh, the computer automatically assigned COM port 3 to it now depending on what USB port you plug it into this COM port will always change if you're um, use on a laptop and um, so you always want to, uh, if you can, put it in the, uh, plug it back into the same USB port every single time. Okay, so I know my COM port is 3, so I will select COM 3. Um, for this data bit setting, um, in general, you always want to have it set at 7. Okay, parity, parity is always even. Okay, line speed, um, majority of the machines, especially within the last uh, 5 five to ten years you can set at 9600 9600 baud rate this is a baud rate setting um, a lot of them you can also set at 4800 um, uh, your really really old controls even you gotta go down to 2400 on occasion um, so I generally set it at uh, 9600 okay um, depending on what company you're in some of them use one stop bit some of them use two stop bits generally I like to use two okay handshaking 
Uh, handshaking depends on the way your cable set up and whatnot. In general, uh, I usually use X on, X off, or none. Okay. Uh, block delay. Uh, there's really no reason to set a block delay um, unless you got an old, old control. Sometimes it, uh, it needs a little more time for processing, and that way you don't overload the buffer and, and such. Um, the next tab we have is data specifications. Okay. Um, under here, EOB, end of block, you've got to get several different options. CR means carriage return, LF means line feed. Um, you can select any one of these or select carriage return line feed. Uh, that way you're basically covered under both, uh, both protocols, I guess you, you could say. Um, Filters. We'll go to the filters tab here. Are these trigger strains? You can set this up as well uh, to trigger start and end uh, when reading programs, but I generally leave them blank. Uh, and under filters, you can use these if you will, but there's really no need for this as well. So I'm just going to click OK after I've set all this stuff up, and we are now ready to um, try to upload and download to a machine. Okay, for this demo, I do. I am not currently connected to a machine. I've actually got a loopback tester set up, um, so the data is automatically looped back, looped back to the PC, and all my uh, uh, configuration uh, um, bits will send out as if you were connected to a real machine. So, uh, to communicate, I'm going to first do a download to this mach test machine using these settings. Okay, I'm going to select the file. We'll just select this test one. Okay, it opens it up. Now my connect button is ready to be pressed, so I'm going to hit connect. Okay, notice this uh, DSR light comes on. That basically says you have something connected to the under end of the cable. If I disconnect my loopback test or my machine, notice it'll shut off. Okay, plug it back in. It turns back on. All right, so um, in order to transmit this program to the machine, I would basically get the machine ready, get it ready to receive, and once it's ready to receive, I would press transmit, and then you'll have download complete. Okay. Uh, notice this DSR light turned off in the machine because it, it knows it has completed receiving the, the file, and that completes the download for to the machine. Okay, now we will demonstrate how to upload it from the machine. Same thing, select Upload from Test Machine. Yeah, it says Save As, so we're going to save it as a file. We'll just say 01.txt and click Save. Okay, so basically when this file is uploaded, it will be saved as Program 01. And I hit Connect. Okay, port is open, meaning that the computer is waiting for data to come from the machine. Okay, now we hit receive. Now I thought it's waiting for data currently now from the machine. Um, you had to hit the first button to open the port so that the machine itself didn't alarm off by not seeing a computer connected to the other end. Okay, basically it's receiving, waiting to receive data from the machine tool. I'm not connected to a machine, but if I was, as soon as I send the data, it would say data complete again. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stop this and hit reset and clear everything out. Okay. And after you're upload, done uploading and downloading the program, you always want to go in and find your uh, file and open it up. Take a look at the program. Make sure all the characters are, are readable and there's not a bunch of... Uh, F, if you have any other questions in regards to RS-232 communications um, and settings, um, you can always go to the web, our website, machine2help.com. Go under Programming Applications, RS-232 Communications, and we have a list of uh, many different settings, descriptions of the connectors, the wiring, cable wiring, uh, length for each baud rate for amount of cable you can have, um, and many different RS-232 parameter settings.